Hello and welcome. We've put together this short video to give you some information about what it would be like to study A-level chemistry with Budhaven School. Firstly, what you can expect from the course. Here is a course overview showing the different perspectives that will be covered throughout the two-year course as well as the topics that will be covered and skills you'll develop along the way. There are a number of different opportunities made available to you from studying A-level chemistry. This is not an exhaustive list, but it does provide you with a range of ideas. Former students of A-level chemistry from Budhaven School have gone on to study material science, biomedical science, medicine and chemistry-based apprenticeships. A-level science is heavily based on explaining evidence from experiments. This may be to understand why you didn't get the theoretical result in order to show you fully understand a concept. In science, all evidence makes you ask questions which you then later need to be able to answer. You have nine lessons per fortnight. This means that you'll have to use your own time to find teachers to discuss homework and to ask specific questions. We will all make ourselves available for these conversations. Here are the expectations from us. All of these are in place to ensure that you are successful on this course. If attendance per half term drops below 95% without your parents contacting the school, we will withdraw you from the course in consultation with your parents. If three consecutive homework deadlines are missed or not completed or have spoken to the teacher before, then we will be contacting home to discuss the continuation of the course. End of unit tests will be used to be formal milestones that we use to make predictions for UCAS. Homework is used to generate independent challenge. You need to act on the feedback in order to improve. There's little point in handing in work you haven't attempted or that you know is of poor quality without speaking to your teacher first. Good organisation is a big part of A-level. You need to have a leather arch file which is divided and stays at home and a smaller file for current topics and notes. In addition to this, you'll need a lab book, which ideally would be hardback. Here are some ways in which parents can support their child through A-level chemistry. Simply talking about what your child has been learning recently is great for them to work out what they do and don't understand. Finding the key documents. This is course dependent and you'll be directed to this. Knowing when the assessments are. Fundamentally, these have now changed so that all assessments are in the summer term. Mock exams in January will determine if your child should continue with the course, if they're going to get something useful from it. But really, if this decision is to be made, it will be highlighted to you after October half term. This information will of course be used in conjunction with the end of topic test and class data from September. The exam board and specification that we follow is OCR Salters B. This can be found using the following URL. Be sure to use the new course specification for all details. Finally, I will leave you with the topic covered for each year. And this is the way in which the course will be assessed for your final A-level grade. 